So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome back to the another great day of the GFGP Real Street Day 166. So today we are very late and we will try to make this video as much as possible. If you have a question, it is a very good thing and if you are able to solve it then well and good. And let's read the question else. So the, num uh, the question name is count special numbers, let us see the tag, array is mathematical and what is there? Steve, okay, Steve is also there, great. So you are given an array of size n consisting of only positive integers. You need to find the count of special numbers. And special number is nothing but if it is divisible by at least one other element, right? Puts it divisible link at least by one other element, then that is a special number. So if you see for 2, 3, and 6, you can clearly see that 2 is not divisible by any other number present in the array. 3 is also not any other number in the array. But 6 is divisible by 2 also and 3 also, right? But we need at least just one. So the count is 1 because 6 is a special number. Similarly, in the case of all the elements are same, then I think we just have to return the count of the uh, repetitive elements because this 5 can be dissolved by the other element which is also 5, right? And similarly, this 5 can be dissolved by other elements which is also 5. So definitely, if the numbers are repeating, right, then you just have to return the frequency. But okay, solution pe jane se pehle, uh, like, uh, before actually coding the optimized solution, what would be the brute force? Brute force is that we are for each and every number we are checking, uh, for each and every number we are checking all other numbers, right? That it is not divisible, right? So what could be the pseudo code? Ki? Ki main, let's say i equals to 0 se start karunga, i less than n jaunga, i plus plus, right? And then I will check again for rest of the numbers. So j equals to 0, j less than n, j plus plus. But I do not have to check with the same number. So I will say that if uh, is i not equals to j as any one i don't have to check the same number and and array of i is divisible by array of j if it is div divisible then the modulo will give me the zero right if that's the case then what you can do make a variable answer answer plus plus and then just break it right and at last and at the last you just have to return the answer so this would be your brute force but what's the time complexity that you are taking you'll be taking an n square time complexity and what's the constraint given in the question the constraint given here is 10 power 5. So definitely n square will be 10 power 5 per square, it will be 10 power 10, which is definitely greater than 10 power 8. So even if our code and approach is right, this code will give you TLE, right? Let us verify this thing and we will proceed ahead. So this is a very naive code, so I will not do the live coding again as well. Let us pause the video and do the uh, uh, do the code. Hmm. So as you can see, the, expect, uh, the expected and our output matches for our compilation case, uh, for a test case, sorry. But if I hit the submit button, it will definitely give me the TLE. So let us verify that as well because uh, we must always start with the brute force as in the interview, it will go that way only. Okay, okay great. Six test cases pass and for us for other cases, we are getting the TLE. So what is the optimization? I identify the repetitive steps. So repetitive step is that for each and every element, why are we checking with each and every element, right? So we have to remove it. So the first observation by, while reading the question itself, I... Uh, one second. While reading the question itself, I found a one observation that if if the numbers are repeating, right? If numbers are, I hope I'm writing in a good handwriting today. I saw the comment section and they were saying, you guys were saying to write clearly. So I'm trying my best. And from the next videos also, I will use the open button. So I'm getting very late today. So if the, if the numbers are repeating, then you just have to return the frequency, right? So let's say, suppose you have a test case or in the first test case, if I combine with the second test case, then Let's say you have this 2, 3, 6, 6, 5 and 5. So definitely I can say from these two 5, the answer 2 to hoga hi hoga. And we have to see that se kaun sa answer hai. what will be the answer for this for this other other things, right? Instead where the uh, one sec. Hmm. Okay. So definitely we have hash map to maintain karna hoga, right? Hame ek hash map maintain ho karna hoga. Let's say name as frequency or also frequency store karing, right? A frequency store karing baram check karing if 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 at all any elements have the let's say key value pair mein hota, right so it will have 2 as 1 3 as 1 6 as 1 and 5 as 2 so if at any element having the value greater than equals to 1 then definitely usko the direct answer mein include kar do, right uh, answer plus equals to a uh, value kar do. let us code this step first and then we will decide that how we can handle the rest of the elements right hmm. so as you can see i have coded that first step which is handling the uh, elements which are repeating which are repeating, right? So I have made a map and putting all the elements. So it's it is it is uh, like important to remember this uh, inbuilt function get or default, right? 
or else you have to write to if statement that if present then do uh, find the get value and then do plus with instead you can just use get or default it will uh, definitely find that particular value if it's present then market has the if it, it's present then do the increment else market has zero right so you can clearly see that the output is giving here as two right so this is two just because of these two repeating elements right and in the in the map we are just traversing by saying that the if the <coughs> if the frequency is greater than one then we are including the answer but how can we tackle two three and six right so for that thing i i can say that for uh, this uh, um since our array has uh, may have the duplicate elements right so first let us make a hash set of let's say unique which have all the unique elements in the array right so we'll make a set right and then after making this set we have the unique elements and unique elements is nothing but two three six and five so a third step will be to how to tackling this the uh, rest of the elements would be that now here we will use a sieve right sieve kaise kaam karta tha ki for a particular main isko chhod kaise kaam karta tha main batata hu ki what's happening and then i will relate it how how it is sieve theek hai so we have this uh, unique set of elements and again i will maintain a max variable right because main batata hu so max will be nothing here but 6 right and then i will iterate in this unique set right so first it will be 2 right and then i will use a for loop i will use a for loop i'll start with 2 cross 2 that is uh, let's say this element is i uh, i th pointer i will start with i cross 2 i will go till i is less than equals to max right and then i i will move in the increment of move in the increment of so let's say this pointer is z yeah so i equals to a uh, 2 star z right when z is less than equals to max and i plus equals to z so i will move in the increment of my uh, uh, number right तो इससे क्या होगा कि आई विल फर्स्ट चेक टू स्टार टू दैट इज नथिंग बट फोर सो फोर सो आई विल सी दैट इफ फोर इज प्रेजेंट इफ इट इज प्रेजेंट इन माई सेट राइट तो आई विल इंक्लूड इन टू एन अदर अनदर सेट दैट इज स्पेशल नंबर्स स्पेशल नंबर्स के सेट में हम इसे डाल देंगे बट वाई वाई ऐसा क्योंकि आई कैन क्लियरली सी दैट इफ टू क्रॉस टू इज फोर एंड आई नो दिस टू इज प्रेजेंट इन माई प्रीवियस आर ए इन द करेंट आर ए तो अगर ये फोर भी प्रेजेंट हो जाता है इस सेट में देन डेफिनेटली आई वुड हैव सेट दिस Four is definitely divisible by this two, है ना तो हम इसमें special numbers डाल देंगे. But ये नहीं है तो we will not be putting in the set. Now I'll again check for. Now we have to move in the increments of this current uh, integer. So I will move increments of four plus two six, and I will see that if six is there, so I will say yes, six is there in my unique set, right? And two is also present because we are we are moving in increment of two. So I will definitely in the special numbers I will I will push this number six, right? and then i will do 6 plus 2 8 but it will it is going beyond the max variable right and 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 that's the reason we are we are maintaining a max max variable because we need a number where where i need to stop my iteration right theek hai to ye nahi chalega hai na yahan pe hum ho jayenge iske liye stop right then another unique element will be popped out and that would be 3 right and again i will check 3 cross 2 so 3 cross 2 will be nothing but 6 and you can see that 6 is present Right and six since we are we are moving with the current element as three that means six is divisible by three right so this is a special number so add it in the set but if you add it in the set then six six and six will be there right if it if it uh, if the special numbers would not have been set so that is the reason we are maintaining a set so that the duplicate answers cannot come in my count right so if you even add it the another six here the set will not al allow the duplicacy and then again it will just have one six right which was which is coming from this two. ठीक है अगेन सिक्स प्लस थ्री वुड बी इक्वल टू नाइन बट इट इज गोइंग आउटसाइड द मैक्स रेंज सो आई विल हियर स्टॉप राइट देन आई विल चेक फॉर विच एलिमेंट लेट्स एस सिक्स राइट एंड इफ यू डू सिक्स इन टू टू विच इज ट्वेल्व इट इज गोइंग आउट ऑफ बाउंड सो आई विल स्टॉप अगेन आई विल चेक फॉर फाइव क्रॉस टू विच इज गोइंग फॉर टेन देन आउट ऑफ बाउंड सो स्टॉप राइट यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट दिस सेट विल गिव यू दी आंसर एज वन राइट एंड दी दिस आंसर विल गिव यू विल गिव यू द आंसर फ्रॉम द डुप्लीकेट एलिमेंट सो दैट इज वॉट वी हैव टू जस्ट डू राइट तो ठीक है तो क्या क्या करना पड़ेगा हमें लेट इस डिसाइड द सेप्स एंड वन मोर थिंग दैट व्हाई दिस दिस इटरेशन जब मैं इटरेशन आपको समझा रहा था देन आई गेस यू मस्ट हैव बीन एबल टू रिलेट विद एन एल्गोरिथम व्हिच इज अ सी एल्गोरिथम राइट उसमें भी हम वी वर वी सेलेक्ट जस्ट इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज यूज्ड इन दिस प्राइमरीली यूज्ड इन द सेइंग द पर्टिकुलर नंबर इज प्राइम और नॉट और हम उसमें इसी तरह इटरेशन करते थे राइट वी वी नो दैट टू इज अ प्राइम नंबर तो उसमें सारे मल्टीपल्स को फॉल्स मार्क कर दो वी नो थ्री इज अ प्राइम नंबर देन मार्क्स ऑल ऑल ऑफ इट्स मल्टीपल एज फॉल्स That's how is happening, right? ठीक है. So what would be the global step? सबसे पहले तो हमें एक unique unique set बनाना पड़ेगा. So let's say this would be my uh, first new thing. Then I have to make a max variable. Then I have to make a sieve number uh, special set, right? 
एंड वाइल आई एम इटरेटिंग फॉर दिस रिपीटिंग एलिमेंट उसी में मैं क्या कर लूँ इस इस सेट को इंक्लूड कर लूँ इटरेशन और स्मैक टू चलो ठीक है तुरंत से करते हैं एंड नाउ आई विल कोट दिस थिंग एंड एक्सप्लेन यू ओके सो आई एडेड टू थिंग्स मैं जैसे जैसे ऐड करते जाऊँगा आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू फॉर द थिंग्स आई एडेड सो आई हैव मेड हैश सेट ऑफ यूनिक एलिमेंट्स राइट एंड देन मैक्स इको सो जीरो टू मेंटेन द मैक्स वैल्यू ऑफ माई करंट आर एड एंड वाइल आई वॉज मेंटेनिंग द फ्रीक्वेंसी देर इट सेल्फ आई एडेड द थिंग द ऑल द एलिमेंट्स इन द यूनिक सो दैट आई कैन आई डोट हैव टू यूज अनदर फॉर लुक एंड हियर इट सेल्फ आई विल राइट द मैथ डॉट मैक्स फॉर मैक्स ओके सो दैट्स डन नाउ द द थर्ड वॉट्स दिस वॉट सी वॉट हाउ द सी वॉज रनिंग इज दैट Uh, let me write the comment so for every special uh, number not for every special number but for every distinct numbers right we need to yes we need to uh, we need to go till max in increment of the the current number right okay 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 so let me write it here unique then let me write the for loop and then we will proceed ahead hmm so that's what is happening for each and every number in the unique hash set we are popping it out not popping it out we are uh, maintaining the pointer in as z right and then we are moving in increments of z so first of all we did 2 star z and it sh it should be less than equals to max and we are moving in the increment of z so that is why the c tag was there in the question and if that if that particular particular element is contained in a unique set element and which ensures that that multiple that you are traversing for using this for loop is present is present in your elements array right That's what is happening. So we were doing two star two four and then four plus two six. So we saw that six is present in a unique set. So that's how we are checking and then adding in my special numbers hash set. And special numbers hash set is used because because you can you 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 saw right. He uh, ek hi answer uh, uh, this this six was coming twice right. But you just have to account one for that's why we are using set for the answer as well right. Okay. So the last step is now that uh, we were iterating in the map, and if the frequency was greater than one, we are just taking the values, and if not, then we have to check that if that particular number is a part of our special number, right? Then we we can take it, right? Then we have to do plus plus. Yes, so that's how it's done. We have we have mentioned one more thing else is part. If that number, uh, if the frequency is not greater than equals to one, then check if it if it's a part of special number, then do the plus plus. Let's compile and run, and we'll see for ourselves. and while it's compiling what would be the time and space complexity time complexity will be nothing but uh, we are using a for loop here o o of n then we are using a, a nested for loop here right so this would be like worst case will be that every number uh, is repeating just once right so the set the set will have all the elements in the array so the worst case here will be o of n right so let me write it as n and what will be the taking of this for loop right so hum kya kar rahe hain ki for each and every element we are moving till max of my array right in the increments of my current element so what is my max Ma max uh, the of the my array is 10 past 6 so that would be definitely would be log of m because whenever you use a for loop and increments and move in the uh, particular for a particular number in increments or in decrements right so hum use log m lete hain hai na but there would be a worst case ki let's say ye hamara jo current element hai wo 1 ho jaye hai na or we have to move till max then e each and every time the increment would be just for 1 राइट ठीक है तो फॉर द वर्स्ट केस आई कैन से दस कि यहाँ पे एम होगा राइट फॉर द वर्स्ट केस इफ इफ एट ऑल दैट करेंट एलिमेंट इज वन बट फॉर रेस्ट ऑफ द केसेस है ना ये हम ऑन एन एवरेज से अज्यूम कर सकते हैं कि लॉग एम होगा एंड दैट इज द रीजन आई गेस दे हैव मेंशन द टाइम ऑफ सी एज एन क्रॉस एम बट स्टिल आई विल से दैट द वर्स्ट विल बी एक्चुअली एन क्रॉस एम बट फॉर दी बिकॉज दैट जस्ट वन एलिमेंट विच विच इज गिविंग विद दिस ओ ऑफ एम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी फॉर रेस्ट ऑफ इट यू विल गेट अ लॉग एम ठीक है तो ठीक है वर्स्ट ही कंसिडर करते हैं तो ऑफ एन क्रॉस एम एस की वो हो जाएगी व्हाट इज से टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी बट इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई एन क्रॉस एम राइट लेट मी गिव यू सम एडिशन एन क्रॉस एम टेन पॉइंट फाइव टेन पॉइंट सिक्स इट विल गिव यू टेन पॉइंट इलेवन तो अकॉर्डिंग टू लॉजिक टेन पॉइंट शुड इट शुड गो इट शुड गिव अस द टीएलई बट इट इज नॉट बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी सेट राइट ओ ऑफ एम इज कमिंग फॉर द द एलिमेंट्स व्हिच इज व्हिच विल बी व्हिच इज जस्ट पॉइंटिंग टू वन राइट एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ ऑल द केसेस इट विल बी लॉग एम राइट वन एन एवरेज और एमोटाइज इट इज टेकिंग एन log m so that is why it, it will get submitted as well okay and okay so let us hit the submit button now and the space complexity will be that we are maintaining a map a set and hash set for each and every element so it will be o of n okay let us see okay so all the test cases have been passed successfully right so i hope you were able to relate to the logic and code as well let me give you the c++ code as well and then we'll end this week so that's the c++ code i let me just scroll down the same thing is happening right 
but uh, just the syntax are different maybe c plus users may, may be able to relate it well so i've scrolled it down and yes <clears throat> that's it let's end this video and if you're new to this channel please like share and subscribe so that we can learn maintain and grow our together in future as well i also be motivated and make the video for you guys till then bye bye keep learning and keep growing